Han Lewis and this is Theo Plains. For today's motor video, I'm going to be turning on the Cox Point Zero Ten. Now, if you've been following us for the past few years, I already did the motor show, but I'm going to be redoing it in HD. So let's get started. Cox started producing the TVs in the beginning of the 60s, all the way up to the late 90s. This one was made around in the 1990s, from what I can see in the instructions. The overall height is 1 and 17 36 of an inch, the length is 1 and a half inches, and the width is 1 and 1 16th of an inch. And it weighs just 14 grams, or half an ounce. Now I'm going to be using the tank that it brings, and it also brings this separate motor mount that you can use when you're using an external tank. And let's fill her up. So we're going to close the needle valve completely, clockwise. We're going to insert the fuel into the fuel tank until fuel starts coming out the other valve. And there. And then we're going to open up the needle valve four turns completely. So two three and four and then let's get fuel to the engine so we're going to cover up the air intake and give it a few spins there and now let's prime it so we're going to put just a drop of fuel right here okay so now it's ready to turn on let's connect it up right here there insert it into the spring and use oops okay so we need to adjust the needle valve just a little bit Since I haven't run my engine in a while, I was running it rich and slow, as the instructions say. You let it run rich and slow for approximately 60 seconds, and then you start closing the needle valve clockwise until you get it running at its full potential, which is around 28,000 RPM, or almost 500 spins per second, which is, which is pretty impressive. When you're done using it, just take out any a remaining fuel that it may have in the inside and then just clean out the outside using a cloth and then if you're not going to be using it for a while I recommend you add two or three drops of after on oil to protect it and then the instructions say to store it in a cloth to avoid any dust or, or dirt from getting in it and that's pretty much it so if you want to see all the coming videos this Sunday's flying video and all the upcoming videos next week and the week after that all you have to do is click that button down there and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.